Hello and welcome. Now we're starting to talk about object-oriented programming. Okay. Object or we briefly talked about this object-oriented pro programming. It's a programming paradigm, so some ground rules, uh, a basic way of thinking how to produce software. Yeah? And this object-oriented programming, this is orienting itself in the real world. Yeah? So it should help to make software development easier for us to to grab, to understand. Base element or, or base thing is the so-called object. And this is where object-oriented program languages do support the object-oriented approach. They, there is a special data type which is called an object. What an object is and so on. We will hear how strict a uh, uh, program language is in the terms of object depends a little bit on the program language. Yeah? There are program languages out there, like for instance Smalldog, where everything, that's the base rule, everything is an object. Even primitive data types like an integer or a floating point value is an object. Yeah? Other so-called object-oriented program languages are not that strict. For instance, in C++, a primitive data type is not an object. It's a data type. Uh, there are some concepts in object-oriented programming. Yeah? So these concepts are uh, classes, yeah? inheritance, polymorphy. Yeah? These are these are the main concepts of object-oriented things. Uh, classes means it's a special data type. Yeah? Every object is of a certain class. Yeah? And inheritance means I or the object can be based on another object yeah? and inherit from there some elements. Yeah, some or all or whatever, yeah, some items from there, like childs inherit from their parents yeah, something. Also, a child object is inheriting from its parent objects, maybe, yeah, items, things. Uh, polymorphy means. I can call one and the same function, or here it's called the method, with different with different uh, attributes, yeah? and then it's doing something else. We will see this also. Yeah, that's object-oriented programming. Like say, like said, the main thing of object-oriented programming is the so-called object. So there is an object. This is a special data type in object-oriented programming languages. What is behind this? Yeah? Or what things an object can contain? Yeah? We'll touch in the next video. Yeah? So this is just a short introduction. What is uh, object-oriented programming? Yeah? And now, next video, we're to going to have to look on that object. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.